In 1526, the Spanish conquistador, Pizarro, reached the edge of the Incan territory. Five years later, the Incan emperor, Atahualupa, was captured and then executed in 1533. What did the Spaniards possess that allowed them to triumph over the Inca? What were the Inca missing that led to their downfall? In the 16th century, the Inca were at an obvious disadvantage to the Spaniards, but that disadvantage was millennia in the making. In order to understand why the Inca failed to develop the technology to required to win wars, many factors must be examined, the most basic of which is the shape of their continent. South America is situated on a north-to-south axis, stretching from the tropics to nearly 50 degrees south of the equator. Due to its elongated shape, South America supports a variety of climates and environments. The tropics are located in the northern half of the continent, nearest the equator, and are nearly uninhabitable due to the humidity and scorching temperatures. Additionally, the tropics are the ideal breeding ground for disease, which is transmitted and spread by insects and other vectors. The tundra is located at the southern tip of South America, an area poorly equipped to sustain human life. The harsh climate and frigid temperatures limit the variety of plants and animals, as well as making farming nearly impossible. Spanning the entire western coast of the continent are the Andes Mountains, the region of South America the Inca inhabited. The Andes average a mild temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and have fertile soil well suited to farming. To the east of the Andes lie the lowlands, in particular the Amazon Basin. Hot and humid, the Amazon Basin encompasses roughly 40% of the continent. South America's only point of contact with other continents lies in the Panama Isthmus, a narrow stretch of land which joins South and Central America. The variation in climate and geography, as well as the lack of contact with other continents, made early travel and trade in South America difficult, greatly limiting the potential spread of technology, as well as the spread of species. Animal. The llama. While they cannot pull a plow or support a human, llamas can be used for meat and wool, in addition to carrying small loads. South America has multiple native plants which can be utilized as food. Corn is indigenous to the continent and was an important staple in the Incan diet. It is easily domesticable and can be used for a variety of purposes. South America is also home to wild peppers, tomatoes, and potatoes, though a few of these species grow in the same region of the continent. The handful of easily domesticable plants and animals allowed South American civilizations to develop agriculture and in turn create a food surplus. Through this surplus arose specialization of labor, as not all individuals were required to work in food production and could instead pursue other professions. This spurred the development of technology and government, but South America still felt the restrictions of its geography. A few thousand miles north, in Central America, the Aztecs had discovered the wheel and could perform fairly advanced math, but due to the difficult terrain between them, had no contact with the Inca in South America. While European and Asian civilizations thrived through trade and the sharing of ideas, South America remained isolated, and thus its development was hindered. By looking at the external factors the Inca were forced to cope with, it comes as no surprise that they were defeated by the Spaniards. While Europe granted the Spanish horses, the Inca made do with llamas, which can neither pull a plow nor carry a human. Despite having access to natural resources, edible plants, and some domesticable animals, the geography and varying climates of South America made it nearly impossible to spread advancements and ideas. Though Europe may have received an A plus in natural luck, South America deserved a C plus. The Inca were defeated not because they lacked intelligence or strength, but because of the constraints of the continents they inhabited. South America provided the building blocks for a basic civilization but proved unwilling to nurture an advanced society.